More than 90% of Americans own a cell phone, and many people use them to take pictures of their food or make phone calls when they're dining out. But some restaurants are fed up with the disruptions and banning them, asking customers not to use them at the table, and even rewarding diners who ditch their phones. Kenneth Craig has more. The owner of this New York City restaurant envisioned a place where diners could not only enjoy a good meal, they could connect in conversation. But over the years, hearth chef Marco Canora noticed something very different happening. No one was communicating and it was infuriating to me. His solution is subtle, old boxes on each table that say, open me. Then there's another note here that says, you know, we'd like to invite you to unplug during your meal at hearth. It was an easy sell for Chris Sampson and his friends. I love it. I really love it. I mean, sometimes if I go to a restaurant and the cell service doesn't work, I'm secretly happy about that. At this sushi restaurant in New Jersey, every Tuesday night, customers are invited to do the same. Instead of a box, there's a champagne bucket, and diners enjoy a 20% discount if they make it through their meal without their phones. Really, the only push that back that we've seen that people are afraid that they couldn't do it and didn't want to be called out because of it. Have you had guests actually say, I can't do this? Oh, yeah. Other restaurants have rolled out their own cell phone policies, from limiting photography to instituting full bans. Bon Appetit Deputy Editor Julia Kramer isn't surprised. Restaurants have benefited greatly from how obsessed people are with taking photos of their food. But there's a flip side of that, and maybe it's a backlash as well, which is that this type of behavior is also very disruptive. Back at Hearth, not everyone participates, and they don't have to. If you like the idea of putting your phone away and being present with the person you're having dinner, by all means, use the box that's on the table. Serving up a digital detox, one meal at a time. Kenneth Craig, CBS News, New York.